those storms, it can be the perfect day and it seems like suddenly severe weather can just happen in our area. It happens really quickly and something that we always have to be aware of is the lightning. Mm -hmm. Because this summer we've seen a number of lightning strikes cause brush fires and some house fires. That's right. This morning, the Matt Lachey Pine Island Fire Control District is training in Cape Coral and Fox 4's Calvin Lewis joins us live from the training site. Calvin. Yeah, Shari, Chris, good morning to you both. Firefighters, they'll be practicing what's called a fire ground tactic, and it'll all be unfolding at this home right here, situated in Cape Coral later this morning. And today's drill also serves as an important reminder to homeowners that lightning can strike at just about any moment. Now, in the last month, we've witnessed the damage it can do firsthand. This is a home in Cape Coral from last month, and you can see pieces of the scorched home were scattered across its yard, along with peeled back shingles. And that's where Iona McGregor fire officials said the bolt hit the roof and actually starting a fire. Now, thankfully, nobody was inside the home when that fire started, but that does not change how fire crews respond. Make sure we get into the structure, clear the structure, get the occupants out, find out where the fire started, whether it's in the home or up in the attic space, and start our extinguishment tactics. And it just so happens that today's training has a focus on what's called piercing nozzle tactics. That's a special nozzle for attic fires. And firefighters will also run drills involving roof ventilation as well as room to room wall breaches. And we'll of course be out here as that training gets underway. You can of course find some more helpful information when it comes to uh, lightning safety when you head over to our website right now at fox4now.com. But for now, Reporting live here in Cape Coral, Calvin Lewis, Fox 4.